Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. Of course, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue our campaign. So I apologize yesterday for failing to upload my video at my normally scheduled time. Normally I upload at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's oh, the Germans invaded here. But I failed to do so mostly because... Uh, to be honest, I was working on another video for a completely different channel that I have. So it just kind of... I, I just basically forgot to do that. So, uh, let's remove some of this. I don't want to give myself too much. That's eh, good enough stability because we are at war. And yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways, so I apologize for failing to upload my video at normal times. I'm... It happens like once every two campaigns, so hopefully I won't forget again. So if you forgive me, I would greatly appreciate that. But if you don't, I understand. Alright, so we are at war with the Germans, and we are kicking some real, really good German booty. Much better than I thought. That's mostly because I use commands to declare war. And if you do war justifications, then the enemy knows, oh, that you're going to go fight them. Which I think in itself could potentially use a rework. Because, for example... You, we have focuses to go to war with an enemy, such as in the vanilla game, we have, you know, the Germans launching Operation Barbarossa against the Soviets, right? And that was a surprise attack. The, so the Soviets in real life did it, didn't know what was going on. So, I wish you could do something like that. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. I wish you could do some sort of surprise attack kind of like that within Hoi 4, because currently there's not really a way for you to do that. Honestly, it's a little disappointing, and I'm kind of surprised no one else has kind of brought that up yet. That you would like to attack the enemy in a surprise move, maybe potentially catch your enemy off guard, but that's why we really need an espionage system, so that we can understand and kind of spy on what our enemies and or allies are doing. But, with that in mind, we shall continue at war with all of our enemies, which include the Untaught. Oh, this despicable bastards. So, alright, so last time, we took out Belarus, we were trying to carp out Lithuania, and I think we're doing pretty well overall, I mean, we haven't really lost too much, our enemies have lost quite a bit. Uh, you guys, go ahead and go extreme. Oh, it's the pause, that's what's going on, alright, cool. And the tanks, yeah, go, go right on ahead, just take them out. The faster we can take the enemies out, the faster that we can capitulate the Reichs Pact, and I'm probably going to start a new series, or a mini-campaign, after this campaign's over. I'm not sure who I'm going to play as yet, but we'll see what happens. Like always. So the Germans were definitely caught off guard. They weren't expecting a round two of the Brothers War, only 80 years apart. But that's okay. It's totally okay. So Really, Europe is our focus here. Good. This Lithuanian division is going bye bye. Oh, Aeroflugzeugbau Friedrichshafen FF. Sachsen. Very nice. Oh, we're pretty much done with our air planes, except for some carrier fighter planes and naval bombers for carriers and stuff like that. It's like a German sub, and then six Irish convoys, but our ally lost three convoys themselves. That's okay. We do have the Suez Canal under our control. And we lost three more Austrian convoys there. Now, you guys are doing what? Oh, Ethiopia is trying to attack. Maybe you might as well try to attack Berbera as well. Oh, we do definitely need to go do that against Muscat, because Muscat's in the Entente. I think we're doing pretty well in German China. Could be doing better, but we could be doing much, much worse. Oh, extra dockyards. Oh, and there goes Lithuania. Very good. And we got some puppies. If you excuse me, guys, I am feeling a little uh, out of it. I'm not feeling sick, I'm just a little out of it at the moment. Go ahead, finish them off. Finish those divisions off as well. And I guess we got some spare factories that are really not interested in using too much. kind of want a carrier, but obviously I'm not going to use 1916 carriers. Uh, I keep adding more dreadnoughts in, so we might as well keep doing that. Seems to be doing pretty well for us anyways. Uh... Guys, go ahead. Where are you? You were down in Spain, I believe. Yes, you are. And one of our divisions trying to attack and get more territory from them. The Italians are holding up very nicely, very well. And our attacks into Germany have 
kind of stalled out. Now we are using our original Austrian soldiers. Ooh, Argentina has capitulated, and we got some more Argentinian uh, puppies. Awesome. So you guys are done. I'm going to immediately transfer them up here to our border with España, the Kingdom of Spain. Because this will be, I guess, my main army to take out all of the Americas that are north of us. Alright, there seem like there are too many ships here. Of course, we will always need more planes. Hmm, but I think we're doing okay. I think we're really honestly doing not too bad, not too shabby. Let's see, we lost three convoys in exchange for two enemy subs. We lost a plane for two enemy convoys, three more enemy convoys. Tanks. Oh, you guys are very mightily done. Awesome. That mine. I'm going to send you down here. You need to hurry this up. And then you, and you, or I guess, honestly, we could probably send half of these soldiers to this group, and the other half will just come over here, because you guys are headed on over to here-ish. That'll be good. Just go whenever you get down there, you know, be careful, but don't be too extremely aggressive. Ooh, yeah, this is too many divisions guarding just five boys here. Take him out, please. Take him out. Tanks, how are you doing? You're doing great. Uh, we're going to mop that area up with infantry. So the tanks will definitely come over here. Help out the front line a little bit. And cut all these divisions off by going to the Batavian Commune. Now, what have we attacked? We've attacked a submarine within its port. Oh, that's so evil. You thought you had safety in your own port. But you don't. You do not. Ah, oh, so good. We're doing well in Africa. I mean... Surprise attacks are pretty devastating. Nepal has joined the Dominion of India as her enemy. Um. Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. Yeah, they're dying pretty darn well. The Entente is definitely holding off the Reich's Pact in North America to a degree. But the Reich's Pact did take back Chicago. It's like our version of Stalingrad in this campaign. Going to exchange of hands a few times, and then ultimately the attackers will die. Oh, die. A peace deal? No! Wait, am I at peace with the Entente now? I might be at peace with the Entente. Huh. Two subs lost. Honestly, I would care more if I wasn't so honestly dazed out at the moment, but I, I really don't at the moment, so I'm okay with that. However, we will take out the Entente. Or at least I will take out the Entente when we're done here. Who's in the Entente? Oh, these guys. They took the French Republic over. Now we're suffering from attrition. Oh my god. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks, guys. Uh, anywhere else? Oh, Greece. As I said, oh, come on. Come on, guys. Seriously? Seriously, man? Where are you guys at? <clears throat> We're going to let them finish up over here. But when the Reich's Pact does fall, we will attack the Entente once again. Just because you just can't have a white piece without talking to your commander. So, uh, this is a lot of Bulgarian divisions, so you can go right down back to Bulgaria. One, two, three. You can come up here. The United States of Greater Austria looks pretty darn snazzy. I'm going to actually give some of these divisions back. Uh, who is this? Oh, is this Arabian? I think this is Arabian. Uh, Arabia, you can have your some of those divisions back, because I think we'll be okay regardless. You know what, you actually come down to Italy here. I think you guys could use some experience. My Russian brethren. And then you guys over here. Oh. Doing a great job, regardless. Oh, wait, what the? Uh. Oopsie. Oh, I clicked in the wrong group. Alright, so that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I'm definitely dazed, dozed out of here. Dazed or something right now. Anyways. Uh, War Destroyer, very nice. Very good. Oh, 1942 Destroyer, was that? Or, Nepal and German Empire. Okay. Planes. Oh, they definitely have some planes and some ships in the water. Um... Iran? 
I'm, I'm failing to understand right now how did you get all this territory when you have this over here? I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused, not gonna lie. Can you guys please just go into the enemy territory and link up with our, our, our Iranian territory, please? That would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not done yet here, though. Alright, so with this front, we're doing okay. Our tanks are trying to get down. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We are slowly taking out the United Baltic Duchy. Alright, very good. Very, very good. Can you come over here to Libau? Libau. Pick up those Lithuanians if you can. Oh, looks like the enemies will take them out. Not too bad. Not too bad. Still. And there goes the United Baltic Duchy. Oh, what is this? Is this Greek? This can't be Greek. They did nothing for this. It's it's Greek. Oh my God! How does how does that even work? That's pretty bad. But eh, that's okay. That's why we have player led peace conferences for this type of deal. Oh, uh, let's take this open hole here. We got some room for ex for extending our front line. <clears throat> Good, good, good. Uh, move when you can. Don't be too aggressive like normal. Anyone have upgrades? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. I really doubt you do. Alfred, don't... Oh, you disappointed me. That's okay. <clears throat> Late game upgrades are usually non-existent. Alright. Uh, let's see, tanks. Are you down here yet? No, you're almost. You're almost down there. Lotar. Hello. Hope you're having a good day, Lotar. Oh! Three enemy convoys. Eight enemy convoys. The boys aren't over there yet. Now, the French Republic is just going to capitulate once again, obviously. <clears throat> Excuse me. But. Okay, so it's lagging very hard right now. I'm not exactly sure why. But, uh. Hopefully, it'll stop being laggy very, very soon. Because I'm keeping an eye on the timer here for how long this video is going to be. So. There's probably going to be some. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The game lagged that hard for the Dominion of India to join the Entente. Now, weren't they originally in the Entente? Let's call it as our ally in the Ruthenian Australasian. What's going on? I'm really not sure what's going on anymore. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Because now all these soldiers are out of jobs. And when you put my soldiers out of jobs, I don't like that. Um. Okay then, we'll find another way into China. Uh. You know what? I I've used my Russian divisions a whole bunch. I'll give them, some of them back to Russia. Uh, India, I'm not sure why you came back. I, I really don't... <clears throat> didn't need you to do that for me right now. That kind of screws me up. I'm mean, going to respect your decision to come back, but... You didn't have to. Oh, wait, we're not at war with them. God dang it. Alright, this is really screwed me up. Uh, just send them to mainland China. That'd be fine. Sure, yeah, go right ahead. I doubt they'll actually get over there because there'll probably be too much attrition and... Ching! And this area of China will probably capitulate before we're done here. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. But yeah, we will definitely go to war with the Anton after this. Let's see, yeah, we're doing well down there. Greece, of course, when they took back their lands, is just going to get invaded once more. And we're going to call our allies back up here, which is not going to be good. <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know. Let's see, let's check our tanks out. Check, 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 check on our tanks. Oh, righty tighty. They're almost here. They're almost all here, ready to go, ready to fight. We are actually losing a few battles now, which isn't good. Alright, so that's taking way too long for me to kill. So, that just means I'm going to go ahead and attack here, because they have a fort, because that's always a great idea to attack forts. Hopefully they don't have too many forts, and we just want to divide these guys up. We should be able to win. Oh, wait, we won, we won here. Okay. C46, please go up to 47. There you go, my friends. I don't understand why it was so laggy when it was just liberating India, which declared war on... Oh, the Donkoban Union is done! Awesome! So, <clears throat> I could take this as a puppet. 
However, like I said before, and what I've demonstrated before, was I'm going to cut these areas of the world, give portion, part of it to Russia, and give another portion to the Ukraine. So let's start with the Ukraine first, because they border them over here, and I'm looking straight at them. So I will give them this territory. Uh, it's not bad. I could. This would really expand the Ukraine. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do Russia first. I want to see how Russia will look first before I do anything too drastic. Ah, uh, da da da, Russia. You were the bottom one. Okay. So they did, I definitely want to give them this, 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 and this. Tsaritsyn. Uh, I'll give Russia Tsaritsyn. How does that look, at least? Russia. Uh, you should get this Russia. Oh, wait. Russia get, should get that. I'll get that at least. Uh, just have a portion, and maybe this area as well. And we can always change this later. But the rest of this, I'll give to the Ukraine. And you're, of course, on top. So both of these countries expanded. They're a little bit more territory for each one. And before we make any rash decisions, I want you probably won't have this as a core, so let's mark these as cores for our new puppet, so they won't liberate anybody or anything like that. Alright, mark. So at least Russia will feel good about getting more of its territory back. Oh yeah, these are these are huge freaking chunks of territory. Alright, good. And how about... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Here, is this... Sorry, it's in... Uh, it's not a core, but it will be. That's not a core either. Make that a core. I'm not even going to check. I can. I already know these aren't cores. See, not a core. And then that should be good for Russia and the Ukraine. So get a little more manpower. Basically, Russia gets more of its resources back, as well as the Ukraine did as well. Very, very nice. So the Ukraine got more oil and uh, tungsten. Yeah. While Russia got a little bit more oil and chromium. Actually, that's really good. So now the Ukraine has... Oh my gosh. <clears throat> that's a really long Ukraine. Is your Ukraine long? Because my Ukraine... Because Ukraine is... Oh, that's a terrible joke. I'm sorry. I, I should have not said that. But Russia still has Astrakhan now. And they feel probably pretty good about that. Alright. With that in mind, I'm going to need these forces down next to Greece again. I honestly probably won't need all these boys, so... I'm actually going to do this. You come over here. We'll attack Azerbaijan very soon. You five. We'll come over here. And attack from the north. The rest of you guys, who are just kind of hanging out, are going to border the Greeks. Because when their empire, or their land falls, probably, uh, we will have to retake this area again. So, try and give some some of my friendly soldiers back to Russia. Oh, got some divisions down there, not bad. How are our tanks doing? They are struggling trying to get into Kassel. Kassel. But maybe we add a few more attacks from this direction, that will go a little better. Good. We only have one thing attacking. Um, why do you only have one tank? I mean, they're 40 width, so you can fit at least two tank divisions in there. I mean, there's a reason why I made two tank divisions attack at a time, even though I'm using infantry. Oh, actually. Hmm, that's a long auto save. Now we've got the full 80 width attacking. So that's 80. Technically, how many are attacking? Oh, now we have 80 width tank divisions attacking over there. That's good. You might as well help push them back over there with my infantry. Yeah, that should be fine very soon. Ooh, we are losing a lot of convoys. Oh my god, 30 convoys from what? I should not be losing that many convoys. Hopefully they're not actual Austrians, they're just puppets. Alright, very good. Don't, no, just just leave. They don't, you don't, just, you shouldn't be doing that, trying to defend someone else's territory. It's either going to be our territory, or it's going to be not theirs. That's how we're going to work here. Oh, we lost 50 convoys from what? From what? How can you lose 50 frickin' convoys? Hope we're just trading stuff and not losing actual, like, real men. That'd be terrifying. That'd be absolutely horrifying if we did. Um, I guess, do you guys not have orders or something? 
<clears throat> I guess you guys don't have any orders or something. Um, I'm t I, I literally told you guys to, you are on this line. You're going to be at it and you're going. Okay. For some reasons, Hoi 4 can be very difficult too. Oh my god, I see what happened. This, these were all split up. Okay. That makes sense. So you're down here, you're over in the middle, and then you're just kind of the random one out. So we'll put this one over here then. You're the... You're up there, so... So you guys... Are going to do this. And then you guys will be down here. You'll be the one that really pushes hard. Alright, so that should be good enough so they don't have to re really rearrange themselves. Any ships? We sent some convoys. We sent quite a few convoys. Awesome. Even better. Loving it. Loving, loving, loving it. We haven't lost too many men. The Germans have definitely lost a lot of allies. Germany's going to capitulate soon. Oh, and they're attacking very hard in Spain. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. So you're going to lose a lot of, a lot of guys here. Oh, you're already on all adult serve and half a million manpower. Very good. Oh, our tanks are doing very well. Just don't get cut off. And you don't need to send everyone that... God dang it. I need someone down here. Like, seriously? And make sure they don't move, so go ahead and do that. And we'll use our tanks to push everyone out into Wilhelmshaven, or even to the province next to Wilhelmshaven, so we can blow up their no, no, convoys. All of you guys come over here. Hopefully you can take the port before you finalize and encircling the enemy. And the Dominion of India is gone, even though it caused a lot of issues for us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your progress was not saved, and we're going to take you over now. Yeah, get, get her somewhere over there. Yeah, that's, that looks pretty good. Ah, they're encircled. You might as well take them out. Very nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. And nicely done. I am really dazed. Oof. Good, 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 good. Brazil is going fairly slowly, and it's lagging again. Now, I hope the Dominion of India does not come back out of the womb of German-held India, but we'll see what happens again. Uh, the Germans might actually be fleeing to Deutsche Middle Africa. They might have lost just enough territory in mainland Europe for the government to exile themselves to Africa. Let's hope so. <sighs> Nothing major happened. Uh, never mind. Something major did happen. As you can tell, the Germans have just decided to say bye-bye. And we are going to finish up the Reichs Pact, who, like I knew what had happened, decided to flee. Now, where did they flee? I'm going to guess. I'm going to bet $100 right now on in, on Africa, not India. No, no. They did not go to... Uh, I'm not losing $100 by saying that they went to India. $100, here we go. Oh, I got those $100 back. Are we... Okay, so we're not aware of that. Who are we aware of then? Just all the former members. We need to capitulate Deutsch Ost Asian now. And the German Chinese, which makes sense. And Switzerland? Uh. Okay then. Hmm. Interesting. You guys come up there because we still have to take up Morocco. Yeah, that's a problem with all this stuff. You guys will come down here. And you'll just get ready to attack again over here. Alright, so we gotta take out the two Sicilies. We gotta take out pretty much everybody again. But hey, we got all of the whole of Germany, which is kinda nice. Right? I think that's pretty darn sweet. Conquest of Germany today. Oh, okay. So the other countries just capitulated. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today the unthinkable has occurred. The German Heer forces fighting in Europe have finally collapsed under the weight of the invading armies. Reich couldn't continue the struggle, and so it appears the Kaiser, his cabinet, and a considerable number of state officials and key generals have embarked by sea to the African colonies still in the hands of the Germans. The Kaiser is seemingly committed to continuing the struggle up from his imperial possessions overseas. But for now, the war in Europe is over, and worldwide German empire has been thrown into utter disarray. Austria is, n Austria is now the only German power.
But we will still go to war with Entente because they decided to declare war on my loyal ally, the Italian Republic. So, just go screw yourself, Entente. So, with that in mind, I could take the United Baltic Duchy as a colony, as well as Lithuania. But, I know better than that, and I want to reward some of my allies. <clears throat> well, I already rewarded Russia with a portion of Don Koban Union, but I believe they might fancy themselves a United Baltic Duchy. So let's give that to Russia. Mm, or, mm, or actually, maybe not to Russia. Denmark has done pretty well, pretty good as well. Maybe I'll give some of this territory to Denmark, actually, for a kind of a change of heart. Denmark, there you are, my friend. That'll look pretty good. I'll make sure that we core that. Now, Lithuania. I know who to give Lithuania to. My loyal, loyal puppet. Or, not my puppet, but my ally. A Poland. Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth is making a comeback? I believe so. A mini one, not a full one, a mini one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, yeah, I skipped the Polish flag. Where is it? Uh, it's Greece. Poles, Poles. No one cares for the Poles. That's why I don't know what their flag looks like. Poland, Poland, Poland. God dang it. There you are. And now they have access to the seas. In which we will, of course, give them cores over that territory. Now, Belorussia. Belorussia. Obviously, I'm going to definitely give this... Oh, wait, hold on. Give that to the Ukrainians. So that way they're more normal. This is the territory that they took. And the rest of... Actually, just Argentina is going to take all of that. And then the rest of that will go to Russia. Good. There should be a core of the Ukraine, yes. And that's also a core. How about this territory? No. Well, let's go ahead and mark some of these as cores. Let's make sure we pause it as well. This is not a core. Mogolev. Almost like Mogolover. Go ahead and core all this. Now, is this... That's a core state. It's not. The rest of this should be a core. If not, we'll know very soon. Now, this... And then this, and this, all, there's only three territories of that area that should be cores. I know that the Baltics are not, really have never been a part of Denmark, but to reduce lag, we're going to make them cores as well. So that's very interesting. This is honestly very disgusting. I don't believe Poznan, Poznan should be Polish. I really don't like that look. Yeah, that looks honestly, what would happen if I just transferred to myself? There we go, that looks better. Ugh, perfect. Absolute perfection. So, let's see. Just because I give Poland some territory doesn't mean I want them to take all the territory. Now, attacking these German Chinese soldiers is going to be a... one hell of a fight. I'll put it like that. That being said, we're doing well on that front. I mean, there's like no one over here on this front. That's how well we're doing. We're doing so well that no one's on that front. Oh, and it is lagging. Don't tell me someone released somebody. Oh! Um... So, the Entente signed a peace with the rest of the Reichs Pact, which we will try to take out. The German, Chinese, as well as the French. And that's it. And the rest of them should capitulate. But they actually are not in a faction anymore, so that means I'm going to capitulate each one individually. But let's take a quick look at all this. So, we can do the fate of Germany, fate of German Somaliland, and the fate of Argentina. Oh, that lag. We're doing very well. I just, I just want to say that we're doing very, very well. Oh my god, this is, what the hell is this? Oh, this is disgusting. What happened? The French Republic shouldn't get any of this territory yet. Yeah, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to give all this territory back to the German government in exile, because that doesn't make any sense. That's really disgusting. <clears throat> but we still finish them up. But let's see, before we end this episode... Ah, uh, fate of German Somaliland, transfer to Ethiopian Puppet. Very good. Fate of Argentina, we're just going to annex them. And the fate of Germany. So, our armies defeated Germany, and we now we can do what we now we can figure out what we're going to do with them. You're still suffering a lot of battles over here. Liberate the Rhineland, 
Well, seeing as we are the United States of Greater Austria, and we are not a collection of divided states, I see no reason why we should divide the Germans. Obviously, the Southern Germans will probably quickly integrate into our country, and the Northern Germans will take some time to integrate. But, we shall have a new German Union. Hmm. I believe that we should recreate the German Empire under the leadership of Vienna as the German Empire. Oh my god, I did it. The German Empire. Now, are we playing Victoria 2 here, or is this like... Boy, 4. I can't tell. Oh, I changed the flag, too. Otto, what did you do? Uh, so, I guess at this point, I'm going to end the episode here. And apparently, we are now known as the German Empire, which is often what I do in Victoria 2. And it looks something kind of like this, actually. Except Scandinavia looks really terrible, so, as well as Ukraine. But regardless, we got to end our episode here. So, guys... Thank you very much for watching. I am sorry about yesterday's video still that I uploaded the, about 12 hours late. <laughs> but regardless, this video obviously came in at 6 a.m. God, I hope so. And I will see you tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you tomorrow as we learn from our mistakes and continue to crush the rest of the former Rex. Thank you very much for watching.